Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a burst finish using spray cans. I've had a few people ask me if this is possible and I basically keep saying yes, but I understand that that doesn't really help, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I've got here my piece of junk experimental guitar. <laughs> Last time you saw it, it didn't have such a ridiculous carve in the top, but it's not really relevant. I was using it as a test, as I always do. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to be doing a three color burst using orange, red, and purple because it's a little bit more complex than a two color burst. So if you know how to do this, you'll know how to do a two color. I'm also going to be using transparent. Uh, it's the exact same process if you want like a black and white or a, anything like that. If you want to burst doing uh, or using an opaque, set of colors, that's fine. You use the exact same process. It's just a little bit more complicated with transparent because of the way that colors layer on top of each other. So I'm gonna be doing it with that in order to give you kind of the most difficult scenario and then all you have to do is simplify it a little bit if you're, uh, you're doing it differently. So I realized that this guitar doesn't have an attractive top <laughs> and using a transparent finish on it is probably not a great idea but I'm never going to use this guitar for anything, so just pretend it's got a nice uh, wood grain to it, and we'll go ahead and do this. Before you put a finish on your guitar, you are going to want to seal it with something. So you can use a sanding sealer, you can paint it on and then rub off the excess and sand it a little bit, or you can do a wash coat of shellac, or you can get, uh, for example, there we go. Spray lacquer, it's a spray can. Put a nice coat of that on there, give it time to harden. Um, three days or something like that I would recommend. And then scuff it a little bit before you put your colors on. I'm not gonna do that because, like I said, I'm never gonna use this guitar. So that's just gonna make it harder for me to sand it all off after once I've done this video. Uh, so I'm just gonna start in with the colors and show you how I do that. And we'll move on from there. Okay, so got the guitar set up on my uh, spray stand now. If you're curious about the spray stand uh, or how to make one, I should have a video about that up already. Uh, and it'll just show you kind of how it's put together. Anyway, now if you're doing an opaque burst, you have it a little easier. You can spray the whole guitar, one color, and then add your second one. So you can either spray it the color that you want the edges, and then paint your middle, which is not how I would do it. <laughs> or you can spray it the color that you want the middle, and then you can add the edges after, which is typically how a sunburst is painted, as far as I know. Or I shouldn't say a sunburst, that's a specific color. How a burst is painted. Uh, another thing that you, well, sorry. If you're doing it with transparency, you can't necessarily do that. For example, I'm putting orange as my middle, and I'm fading out the purple. And if I paint the whole thing orange, and then around the edges I go over it, with purple, I've got red in between, uh, then those two colors are going to react because purple has blue in it. And by react, I mean they're going to melt together, they're going to tint each other, and I'm going to end up with brown. I, I don't want to fade to brown on, on this sunburst. You can, obviously, uh, but you need to consider how these colors are going to affect each other. So when I layer these, I need to make sure I don't get any orange where I'm going to be putting my purple. You don't have that problem with the opaque colors. Uh, another thing to note is how a spray can disperses paint. So if I'm shooting from the outside in, I'm going to get uh, more paint right around the outside, and it's going to disperse and get overspray and kind of fade toward the inside. So if I want a soft blended burst effect, I will do it that way, which is what I'm going to do. If I want a harder finish, I will spray straight or an even harder finish, I can put a slight angle to the outside and then, I don't know why I'm gesturing here, you probably can't see what I'm doing anyway, but a slight angle away from the middle and, uh, and get closer and that'll give me a harder edge. So the further away you are, the softer it'll be, uh, the faster you move. We, we've covered this in my video about how to get an even coat of paint with spray cans. Uh, that'll also affect that and the angle that you spray at. 
So now that that's been said, uh, I'm going to bring the camera in closer so you can get a look at this awful guitar face and you can see how I spray it. I'm going to be wearing my mask for this because this stuff's kind of gross. Uh, what I've got here is the transparent Molotow premium graffiti paint, basically. But I'll bring the camera in closer, you can take a look at what I'm doing, and I will have the mask on, so chances are I won't be narrating it. <laughs> So I know that probably looked pretty blotchy in the camera. Uh, the main reason for that is the lights above me and it's gonna, because this paint, some of it's wetter than other parts based on how heavy I sprayed it, it's gonna appear blotchy because some parts are gonna look lighter because of the light. But it actually came out pretty good. Uh, another thing that you can do, well, I told you to seal it before you paint it. The paint's absorbing more in some areas because I did not seal it. And that also doesn't help, but I try to compensate that, compensate for that rather, with the way that I painted it. So one more thing that you should make note of if you're going to be using transparent colors to do your burst finish is that uh, they build up their color differently than opaque. An opaque, you just you put two coats on or you spray it a little more, and it builds to a specific color. Whereas this stuff depends on what's under it. It'll go on darker if you put on more coats, right? So uh, the orange, I sprayed through the middle. I actually sprayed it a li little heavier around the outside to give it more build, and then the red and then the purple outside of that. So uh, my first shot of the purple looked lighter than the orange because I didn't have much on there. Somebody's screwing around in the building next door. Anyway, keep that in mind when you're doing this kind of thing. So now all that's left for me to do, uh, if I wanted to turn this into a nice looking guitar, would be a top coat. Okay, you need a clear coat of some description in order to get the best results. Um, so I would just use my spray can of lacquer here. I've got some Wadco gloss and that would likely be my choice for this one. If you're curious about lacquering and stuff, I've got got some information up about that but this for this I would just let this dry overnight or maybe for two days uh, perhaps go over it lightly with a gray scotch pad to make sure that this stuff will stick and then I'd give it probably three coats uh, wait a couple days scuff it down a bit do three more coats you know the usual kind of stuff anyway if you're doing a uh, a burst finish, I hope that this was helpful for you. Uh, obviously for spray cans, this is how I would do it. Uh, if you, This is still essentially the same process if you're doing it with uh, paint guns and airbrushes, but depending on your paint, you have to modify the way you coat it and stuff you. Uh, I'm sure I, I didn't say this, but I did this all at once. I didn't, uh, I didn't take any, any breaks, I didn't do any recoating. This was all just one spray session, it took a, probably five minutes maybe less. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know and I will either answer them in the comments section or in a video from my new series called Paint Talk where I just basically answer people's questions. Thanks. See you later.